All right, we are uh, the Computer Network Technology course out here at the SICTC. Uh, we are also a Cisco Network Academy, and uh, we are put on and sponsored by Cisco Systems. And uh, basically, we are a classroom that may have up to a million kids actively learning networking, uh, you know, at any given time during the day. Again, we're put on by Cisco Systems. They are a networking, uh, worldwide network corporation that basically leads the industry in networking. And they basically put together an online and in-person uh, course uh, because of the shortage of trained personnel in our industry, okay, which basically makes this class high demand, high pay. Uh, there is a shortage of trained personnel to implement and deploy routers, switches, firewalls, wireless controllers, access points, things like that, that so many people uh, basically don't notice. They just basically use the network. But everything that we do is shoved in a closet and basically all the cool applications that you see, uh, the web pages, uh, the online purchase web pages, we basically move that data for them. Uh, we basically, for all practical purposes, learn how the internet works, and then we learn how to make it work using real, uh, real hardware. These are actually real Cisco routers and switches. We have up to 36, at least uh, out in pods, 36 routers, which basically find networks, in other words, long haul connections. And then we have 24 switches uh, that basically allow us to do local area network like you might have in this room where the students are connected uh, in our lab out over there, on our, our computer lab. And uh, so anyway, you basically connect these switches into these routers and then you have the internet, okay? So we have plenty of equipment as you can see as we go up and down. Uh, some of it is donated by partners uh, Cisco Systems, uh, CDW uh, have donated uh, equipment. Uh, we do have uh, the newer equipment as well. We have that mixed in. And uh, some of this is above our curriculum, so we're able to do some cool things that uh, we most academies wouldn't be able to do. In fact, uh, I think we even have Vincennes University a little bit jealous because of uh, we have uh, layer three switches that are power over ethernet and allows us to do some and extend beyond our curriculum and try some new things that kids may experience out in the job market. We do have dual credits. Uh, we do a credit with Vincent's University, uh, six total credit hours at no cost to the student and, uh, and no obligation to go to VU. Uh, the cool thing about those credits is those can be transferred over to uh, a four-year uh, university in the state of Indiana. Case in point, one of my students uh, went and got a degree of, uh, from Indiana University in informatics and actually uh, transferred these dual credits uh, over to Indiana University who accepted them. Okay, So we, like I said, I mentioned we had 36 routers deployed out here in our lab on the side of our room. But we also have the ability to uh, go um, with what we call Packet Tracer, which is a software simulator. And if you look up on the screen, uh, we have uh, a network right here that we would work on. Uh, these hockey puck looking things are routers that basically connect wide uh, long haul connections. Uh, and then we have switches down here and out of the picture, because it's such a big network, is, uh, is our uh, computers. And we like to do this as a proof of concept. In other words, uh, in this case, we're working on OSPF, a routing protocol that allows uh, these routers to communicate with each other and to uh, give information to the other routers as to where uh, remote networks might be, okay? So we'll do uh, OSPF as one of them. We'll do EIGRP. We'll do uh, RIP uh, protocols that, that uh, allow us to basically take from this network and move it all the way over maybe to this internet server. 
and these students can basically do this at their desks. Uh, the program for uh, NEDICAD students is free, uh, and they can basically do this here or at home, and I encourage them to do that. And it's really come in handy for virtual learning. Uh, a lot of our students, uh, when we are on, um, if we are going virtual for whatever reason, like election day, uh, I can do a Loom uh, lecture, and they can basically click on that, go over that, and I can follow that up with this assignment, giving them a packet tracer. And the cool thing I like about that is uh, the Netacad, in its own wisdom, has made them self-grading. So they either get their points or they don't. And so the kids get immediate feedback on that, which is great. Uh, another couple of things that we uh, throw in here besides OSPF routing is uh, we'll do some switch work like spanning tree protocol, connecting up switches redundantly. Uh, we may uh, go ahead with uh, access control less, which serves a dual purpose. If we want to filter traffic from one part of our network to accessing the other part of the network to preserve bandwidth, we can do that. Or we can write access control list to filter traffic based on protocol, port number, uh, source IP, destination IP, uh, for security reasons. And then we also get into cybersecurity, uh, dealing with how to, uh, for example, encrypt data that goes across the link. One of the things that we just finished up is uh, VPNs, and there's multiple types of VPNs. Those are virtual private networks. Uh, that seems to be a big deal. You hear a lot of commercials for people that are in their homes and they want network security. So uh, they can basically pay a monthly fee for a VPN. Well, we teach kids how to do that. For example, uh, we might set up a VPN between this router and this router. And a VPN basically says that we're going to go through the internet, which is all those wires are shared. And what we can do is encapsulate our data going from one spot to another, encapsulate it in its own little tunnel, and encrypt the data that goes through it. So we got two layers of security on that thing. So the kids get a good uh, depth of knowledge on these basic things. Now they can actually elevate from here and go into security. They can go into wireless. Uh, they can go into network design uh, uh, and other type of engineering fields. We've had kids that have gone into computer science from here. So uh, this is pretty extensive. Uh, the kids are trained uh, for certification uh, for the CCNA. Uh, that's what the material that we'll cover, and that's a, a valued certification. A lot of students who uh, go on to uh, get that certification and get a two-year degree at a minimum generally start out on average sixty to sixty-five thousand dollars a year on their first job. Um, luckily, I've been fortunate. I have a lot of students that have gone into industry, uh, including uh, two students that work for Cisco Systems. I've got uh, one student that is the network administrator at Cook Air. Uh, one of them that was a network admin at uh, Evansville Teachers Federal Credit Union. I've had some go on to do computer science uh, that work at hospitals and things like that. So. Uh, these are all good paying jobs uh, if the kids really enjoy networking. Uh, the, the cool thing about it is, is you write scripts, you write commands, you write configurations. And it's not just that, you actually hook up hardware that moves data. And uh, so I always tell Mr. Vander, who's our computer science teacher, I said, yeah, you guys write the cool stuff, but we make it move. And without us, you're useless. And without you, uh, we're useless. So we work hand in hand. In fact, uh, the evolution of networking has gotten to the point where my students uh, are uh, finding as they go to uh, post-secondary that they are having to um, take uh, computer science classes and, and coding languages. And the big one for at least networking uh, uh, because they've uh, sought, uh, they've instilled or put in software-defined networks and automation is uh, Python. 
So what we do the second semester senior year is we switch classes for a couple of weeks because his students uh, are supposed to learn networking and my students should be learning Python. So we'll switch classes for a couple of weeks. He'll teach my, my kids Python and I'll teach his kids basic networking. 